What's up, everybody? Here we go, platoon, with my buddy Cades in his 121B, myself in my Object 907, and this guy who I am driving past, Natani Lion, 2014 or 2014, in his Progetto 65. He is an essential part of this replay and was an essential part of this game. Honestly, um, kind of getting into it here, uh, it's just the three of us. He pulls back, uh, he calls for help, and he pulls back, so I know he is going back. Cades comes up, Cades holds the bottom. Right now, I pretty much say that if I find three tanks pushing on me, I am going to fall back, and we should all fall back. So, how much you want to bet I find three or more tanks? So there's three. There's got to be two more. So we fall back. You know, here we are. We're trying to take up defensive positions. Now Cades takes that position, and I call this the triangle of defense. It sounds corny, I know. But you put one tank where Cades is, you put one tank where Natani Lion is with gun depression, and then you put another tank where I am going to go. And you can, in essence, hold back pretty much anything coming from the AB line. Look at this. My shots just drop. So, we are up almost 3,000 hit points. So this is good, right? Yeah, well, we shall see. Well, our southern flank is going back and forth, and they are fighting it out, but it's not looking very optimistic. Also, I'm going to keep in mind, folks, like if you're playing in artillery or... Look at this. Wait. Nothing. Uh, if you're playing in artillery or an autoloader or an auto reloader, look at this. Boop. Let's just go drop down. Stupid RNG call your reload. It really helps out the people working with you to try and get the win. So we're up 3.5k. Pretty much everything's lit other than artillery, so we should be up. Um, see the AMX f trying to get a sneaky light there, so drop down, tuck in. I mean, the odds are he could have probably lit me, but with all those tanks, I'm thinking someone is going to try and take that little dip on the left there, kind of right where I'm pointing, and there. Don't see anyone. Nothing crazy is happening. So at this point, I'm not really sure who lit me. I'm guessing the AMX lit me. Maybe the CS, but probably the AMX. Um, as soon as I'm lit, I start relocating because, um, yeah, I I just I don't want a double arty shot to hit myself and Cades. Well, folks, look what happened. We're down four tanks and 3.2k. Time to get defensive. Again, the triangle will always prevail. 
T-54. Homie was trying, but really don't know what he was trying to do. He's pretty exposed there, so we'll see. I mean, I think you can put one or two tanks there, but probably just one with good gun depression. Um, I would like to also point out that our artillery made a crazy cross, is still lit, and fires a shot. Um, he's about to fall. And the object 277 here, I have to give him credit, the man tried. Cardozo, man, woman, person, definitely tried. And they held as long as they could, like honestly. I know the Amex is on the left. Let's see what kind of happens here. There's the Amex, unfortunately. Trying to get the T-54 to fall back and not sit out in the open. This was huge because the Object 277 tracked the Amex, allowing me to kill the Amex. Cades kills the Object 263, and here we are. There is a straight farm happening, which is good. Boom. Cardozo takes out that Object 268. It's looking very promising. Boom. But unfortunately, we're still down 2,000 hit points, roughly. 1.4 now and three tanks. Huge, huge. Again, that triangle there is great. Cage takes some big hit from artillery there. I know there's tanks on my left, so I start pulling back. Of course, I'm lit there. So I know the Udez is cresting. Oh, but turns out it's the waffle truck. This was a hard fight. We were, they were coming at us from all different directions, and um, another huge shot. So artillery rounds are inbound. So, here we go. What's happening? Well, our artillery's gone. Huh. <laughs> Natani Lion, I'm going to call him Lion, uh, definitely says we win. Unfortunately, I was not sharing in his optimism there. But for now, I'm thinking the AMX-5120 is the only tank on the AB line. So, if he pops up and he's alone, we do have the ability to take him out, forcing them to push not forcing, but... Oh, there he is. So I take one. We And again, this needed to get done because... Um, we could not lose our Progetto. Natani could not die. So he's gone. I call for the Udas next. Artillery round inbound. Let's deke him out. Udez has to be next, because after that, it's two tank destroyers, right? Easy as pie. Yeah, so I thought. So with Cades and Natani Lion there, and this is where I start panicking a little, just trying to get just a couple shots in. That was not good. I played that rather poorly but the plus side is I know where all three tanks are they are all in front of me and so what am I telling my platoon what am I telling my platoon mate and my teammate to do is to get behind them they're two tank destroyers so I'm like no no don't go down there because they'll just turn around and kill you and we can't lose guns so I said go there there and shoot behind Again, always trying to create a triangle. 
they don't know these guys are going. That's why I say flank and cap or shoot them in the butt. So from here, I believe someone gets spotted. So I say you can go low, go high, go any direction. And the f there. So the waffle truck is spotted. They're trying to get shots on him. One. Two. He's gone. However, these guys now know where though they are. So I asked Cades to go for artillery. And here we go. There we go, Nathaniel. Lion and the Progetto. Flex around. And do I take one? Yep, I do. Repaired. Oh, this was good. I just, honestly, I was more worried about the artillery than I was this guy. So I was just kind of, well, waiting for that. He's gone. Ladies and gentlemen, artillery just fires and he's right in front of me. So I ping that there he is. This game was ridiculous. So between the three of us, we end up getting, I think it's eight, nine, ten, twelve? Twelve kills for the platoon. And props to this Progetto 65. He is one hell of a player. And this is where I get super excited. Now I know there's another artillery, so... I zigzag. I don't want to get hit by that guy, honestly. I'm just not in the mood for artillery anymore. And correction, we get 11 kills because we push forward towards their cap. And given that it's a bat chat, I have zero want or need to find that artillery. He's probably zipping around the map. Lord only knows from where he could be firing. Cades is capping. I mean, honestly, we, we just, we take it. So I'm trying to hug as far left or right as I can. And at this point, I jump on cap. Cades is on cap. Natani Lion jumps on cap. 11 kills. But, hey, we get the victory after fighting tooth and nail. And on that note, folks, we will catch you on the next one.